So switching gears again, we're now gonna talk a bit about uh, integration and, and data exchange. So in 239, we're introducing a new service called the Aggregate Data Exchange Service. So this is essentially a service that allows for data exchange that could be from one DHS2 instance to the other or within a single DHS2 instance. So this is a kind of a built-in solution that hopefully should replace a ton of scripts that we know exist out there uh, and provides a integrated experience for moving data between DHS2 and also within uh, typically like individual data over to aggregate data. So once again, a, a data exchange is essentially a, a, a transfer of data from what, the, what we refer to as a source instance of DHS2 to a target instance of DHS2. So in the source, we basically are use, utilizing the analytics API. So data will be aggregated in the source instance using the analytics engine, um, which means that you now can support data elements, indicators, program indicators, reporting rates, and so on. So pretty much everything you can do in the favorites in analytics or using the analytics API, we can now also do um, in the source instance of DHS2. Now, the data is exported in the data value set format. So out of this source, um, DSS2, we get data in the raw data value sets, or some people call it the aggregate data value format of DSS2. And this is quite powerful because it allows you to do data transformation, data aggregation in the source instance. So if you would like to use an indicator to compute the number, if you would like to aggregate in time or up in the hierarchy before exchanging data with another instance, we can now do that easily. And the format is very is identical to the analytics favorites and API. And so it should be familiar to many. For the target instance, we then import data as raw data. So on the target side, it looks like raw data and you can treat it and store it and look at it and use it as you would with any kind of raw uh, aggregate data. <clears throat> so this can be run uh, ad hoc using the API or using the new web app that we're gonna talk about in a minute or it can be run as a scheduled job. So if you want this to run at a specific interval, such as you know, 2 a.m. every night, we can also do that now as a, as a scheduled job using the data, sorry, using the job scheduler application. Okay, so, so what can this be used for? So let's have a look at some of the use cases for this new solution. So I have um, sort of laid out four different use cases in, in, in our case. So the first one would be uh, DHS2 HMS instance. Uh, moving data over to a data portal instance. We know that many countries and organizations now have dedicated instances that act as a kind of a data warehouse or data portal that collects data from multiple DHS2 instances. So instead of writing a custom script, you can now use this to move data from your HMIS over to your kind of data portal instance that could be, you know, public facing or at least be integrating data from multiple data sources. The other one would be uh, moving data from a DSO to a tracker instance to an HMIS instance. So we, we do in many cases recommend that you have a separate instance of DHS2 if you're dealing with confidential and sensitive individual data. Um, but at the end of the day, you often would like to move at least the summary or aggregate of those data over to the HMIS so that you can use those data as part of your integrated analysis in dashboards, combining the different data sources as we like to do with, with DHS2. So now we can set this up uh, typically by setting up program indicators on the source side and then move it over to aggregate numbers in the HMIS instance. The, the third use case is what we call pre-computation of program indicators to aggregate data. Many times um, we know that program indicators could be slow to load real time. So if you have if you need to compute data based on individual data and put it on a dashboard and have it load fast, it could be a good idea to pre-compute those data into an aggregate data element and then use that data element in the dashboard. And finally, um, we can also then now automatically actually move data from national HMS systems over to global donors. We're working with the Global Fund on a project where we would like to infer some of the reporting and the submissions of data that the country do. Uh, through directly through DHS2 without having to go through out of band approaches like Excel or, or manual entry and so on. So essentially like inferring uh, reporting straight from, from country HMS. Um, 